In this video, I'm going to show how to do internal links in your website and also to add an internal link to another web page on your site. So what you need to do is what I've done here with the folder target is to have two HTML files, uh, one called one.html and the other one called second.html. So what we're going to do is with these is just um, put them into uh, the editor I've done. I've chosen here as brackets. And this one here is number one, HTML. So I've loaded that up and this one here below is the second one. So I've used brackets here because it's good for this particular tutorial. And all I've done here is to do uh, lorem ipsum dollar. So as you'll be able to see when the page loads, thus this is all it is. The uh, just that loads and loads of stuff there. And uh, if we put in second, oops, second, and basically that is just the same. So how we do this is we do a href just like your normal link equals and we're going to put um, speech marks in there and what we're going to put is a target uh, page so this particular one is only for uh, this web page so what I'm going to do with uh, number one web page is to put a link right to the bottom of the page so we'll just slightly get rid of this and we do this, um, well, I'm going to put go to bottom of page. So that's, uh, at the moment, that won't do anything. What you have to do is you have to put in a hashtag at the beginning where the T is on that particular one. You can call it wherever you want, but there you have to put a hashtag and then target page. And what we have to do is we have to target an ID. So if uh, if we take a look at this now, and when this finally loads, hang on, I just I'll just save that, and we go there. So there you go, go to the bottom of page. So there's nothing. It's not going to do anything because there's no link to anything really. I mean, it's a it's nullified. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right down to the bottom of the page, go through all this lorem ipsum dollar stuff, and we're going to go down here. And what I'm going to put in is a div tag. You can put it whatever you want in as long as it's got an ID. So we're going to put div, div, there we go. And this is where it links to. We're going to put this is where it links to. So what I'm going to put there as well is ID, ID equals, and what we have to do is we have to equal the target name uh, from this one here, which is target page. So we have to call that target page, but we don't put a hashtag in because it's already got the ID, so it knows where to go. So we just put target page. I think that's what I called it. Um, yeah, target page. So now uh, this should go to the bottom of the page. And we're just putting style equals another speech marks, and we're just going to put in color dot re uh, uh, colon red. So we know that this is uh, where it's supposed to go to, and we can easily see that. So we're just going to put save and just put that up there and we just refresh the browser go to the bottom of the page and there we are this is where it links to as you can see on the right hand side is the scroll bar has gone all the way up there to there so that's how you uh, do a one on a on a one page and there's so many uh, one page sites at the moment that you it's a really you must know how to do that because it's, it's a very good question of where to put these things so anyway, we've done this one and what we have to do is if we want to link to another page, so you've got another page uh, on your website, for example, if you've got a, a contact page and you want a particular link 
to go in somewhere there or another page, wherever it is. Uh, but we're going to call this uh, just my uh, second page. That's all I'm doing, second.html. So we're going to put in another href. So we're just going to go href. And we're going to put equals. And we're going to put in second dot html which you would do so you link to that page so we're going to put i'm going to link to the i'm going going to link to second page okay so here we're going to just save that going to load it load the browser and in this case it's uh it's chrome and here we go uh i'll just put a break in that just so that we know what uh, what we're doing. So we're just going to put break and save that again. File, save. There we go. And then we're going to put, so with that would still go to the bottom of the page, that particular one, but we just want that next one underneath is going to go, I'm going to link to a second page, which it has done where you are. At the top there you see second.html. But in this page, it hasn't actually linked to a particular thing. All it has is gone to the top, which is the default. And as you can see by the scroll bar, that's the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right down to the bottom again of the second page, and we're going to link to there from the first page. It'll all make sense, I'm sure. Uh, so what we're going to have to do here is we're going to go under the second page, and again, we can call it the same thing and we can put in um, a paragraph for this. So we're just going to put pi. There we go. This is linking to bottom of second page. And I'm also going to put an ID in there. So it's always ID, uh, but no hashtag equals target page page. So it's again linking to that particular uh, variable, if you like, that I've already uh, put in our uh, anchor link. So this, and I'm just going to again put a style. So we're just going to change the color so we can easily see that style. And again, speech marks, color. And we're going to put in orange this time, I think. Orange. Okay. So here we are. And we're just going to go file save and we're going to return back to this number one html so here we have the second so we know that doesn't link to anywhere so if we go back to to this i'm going to link to the second page again it doesn't link to anywhere we have got a link down the bottom but it hasn't linked there yet because it's not telling it to so what we have to do there is we've got the second.html um, already there. As we can just zoom in there. So again, what we have to do is we've got second.html, a hashtag, and a target page again. Target page like that. So there we are. If you want to go to another page, it's always got a hashtag between the HTML in this case. Sometimes it could be PHP or HTM. So that's always worth remembering. A lot of pages, especially contact pages, will often be PHP. And so there, that should actually link to uh, the second page and at the bottom. So if we just link that up again, uh, do that up again. So we're going to put, just refresh the browser. Again, go to the bottom of the page and the first page. This is where it links to but we don't want that this time. And if we go into second page, so this should go right down to the bottom and there you are. So there's the, the scroll bar on the right hand side. It's gone all the way down. Whereas before it was at the default position at the top. So that's how you do your uh, links in, in one page sites. And there's also some really good and cool jQuery uh, things for where you just slides up and down the page and looks quite beautiful. By the way, if you're wondering what the uh, text error I'm using, it's brackets uh, by 
Adobe and it's free. It does have some bugs that's irritating, but it's, it's quite a good browser. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening.